Hi, this is John, one half of Two Kept Men, and uh, this is the second unboxing that I promised you today. And uh, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, even my little chihuahua here is um, excited about it. You know that or he farted on the floor and he's really enjoying rolling in it now. Anyway, uh, without further ado, this package comes from um, Steve Jackson Games right here in Austin, Texas. Uh, I, I went uh, into one of their Kickstarters for one of their new um, Munchkin projects called Munchkin Shakespeare. And I'm guessing that this is what this is. All right, all this junk. Okay, so they pack things really well. Uh, here is Munchkin Shakespeare Deluxe. The pen is mightier than the sword if you have a big enough pen. Uh, illustrations by John Kovalik, uh, same as usual. He's always the favorite as far as the uh, the art is concerned on these. Here's the back. Right there. Okay. okay. Now it came with a bunch of cool stuff. Um, first of all, it came with the Munchkin Shakespeare Limited Engagement uh, featured on Kickstarter. This is the first expansion to Munchkin Shakespeare. Two of the kill o meters for Munchkin Shakespeare. And what's cool about that is um, if it's just two players, we can keep track of our, um, our, our life points or our levels, I should say. And it, each one comes with four bonus Munchkin Shakespeare cards inside. Two of the uh, packs of Munchkin Shakespeare pawns. And one of them is the Spike, uh, Spike Spear pawns and the Flower Spear pawns. Um, the Munchkin blank card pack. Four doors, four treasures, two dungeons. And they're blanks, so I can customize. Uh, let's see, this is the staged demo. Uh, 17 cards for Munchkin Shakespeare. Everything in this pack is all you need to learn how to play Munchkin Shakespeare. Uh, do you have friends who love, who love Shakespeare but have never tried Munchkin? Sure you do. Use the 17 cards in this booster taken from the Munchkin Shakespeare Deluxe with alternate art from comic illustrator Lar D'Souza to set up a short demo to introduce them to the wacky world of Munchkin. So um, this is an expansion for Munchkin Shakespeare. It's not a standalone. So... Um, yeah, and it comes with the Munchkin Shakespeare coloring book, which is really nifty. And I also got a pack of Munchkin Shakespeare drama dice. And that comes with uh, four cards for the game as well. And so let's crack it open. We'll start with the with the main game. I will also post a video um, either showing gameplay or reviewing gameplay or reviewing the artwork or all of the above. Uh, if you're interested in anything specific about the game, uh, artwork or anything like that, just um, put a comment in the, uh, in the comment section after you subscribe and like the video, of course. Intro. Okay, some advertising. All right, and then there's uh, an advertising treasure card for Munchkin Panic. Steve Jackson Games mini catalog. Munchkin Shakespeare Deluxe instruction booklet. Oops, instruction booklet. Some cool artwork. These are the pawns that come with the game. Uh, for use in the game, but I got the little miniatures because of the Kickstarter Comes with the a board Where you put your pawns on and, you know 
show what level you're at. Yeah, yeah, that might make the um, the uh, uh, the kilometer a little obsolete. But you know, what if you don't have room for a big old board? It's possible. It comes with one of the dice that I got a pack of, and of course, it comes with the treasure and uh, door cards and pawn holders. All right, I'm not going to crack these these cards open yet because part of the fun of playing Munchkin for the first time when you get an expansion is playing the game with cards you've never seen before. So I will show the uh, the ones that are on the bottom because they could be seen anyway. Call monsters from the vasty keep or vasty deep. Sorry, play during any combat. Each player, starting with the one who played this card, may add a single monster to the fight, which is always fun. Okay, a good deed in a naughty world. Play after another player has suffered uh, from a curse or bad stuff. They must actually suffer some bad effect. They can't just have the card played on them. And uh, they go up a level. And so do you. Um, so that's the, the main thing. Now, like I said, if you want to see specific cards or if you want to see all the cards, if there's enough people that really want me to go through all the cards and show the artwork or whatever... Um, I will do so just for you, my loved viewers. Okay, next up is the expansion. And I can hear things rattling around, so I hope there's some cool tchotchkes in here. All right. So this is the first expansion for it. And... Uh, this was actually funded through Kickstarter or funded on Kickstarter. So it wouldn't exist without it because it was one of the stretch goals for the game. All right. Another mini catalog. And of course, uh, any added instructions, which I love that they do these. I have these all in a file somewhere. Ah, Munchkin Shakespeare coloring book comes with this as well. So I have two. Uh, let's see, these are bookmarks. And these were official bookmarks from the Kickstarter, I believe, as well. Uh, the Bookmark of Tragical Miscalculation. All right, what does this do? Um, okay, you show everyone the bookmark so they can satisfy themselves that it is what you say it is. Play this bookmark when some other player is in combat and you're not the helper. Uh, stand up, strike a suitably dramatic pose, and read. Oh, whoa, this valiant munchkin's end is near. Done in by fuzzy math and faithless friends. A treachery that was too late foreseen. Flee, run away, for now your doom impends. And number four, the munchkins automatically lose the combat and must try to run away. Each time a munchkin fails one of these runaway rolls, you must give them a card unless the failure results in death. Mockery is impolite, but highly encouraged. And then there is the bookmark of comic misadventure. Okay, and uh, show everyone the bookmark, play the bookmark in front of your friends, um, and uh, let's see, at any point during the game, as long as you have not exhausted your bookmark uses. And um, it says you can't use more than two in a game no matter what, but if you don't tell people that, then you can do it anyways, because cheating is encouraged. Uh, whenever another munchkin must run away from a combat or is the target of a curse played by someone other than you, uh, you may say, ha, 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 discard a card from your hand to draw a face-down treasure. If you change your sex, fail a one at runaway roll, or go all the way around the table once without saying, ha, 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 you must remove this bookmark from play, and you may not use it again in the game. Um, <laughs> I love this stuff. And it comes with more pawns. I suspect these might be... Yes, they are glow-in-the-dark. <laughs> okay. And, of course, the cards. And um, I will show you the one that's on the back. Uh, a tale told by an idiot. Discard all dungeons in play. Draw a new one. Uh, to put into play, leave this card in front of you. At the start of each player's turn, they discard all dungeons and draw a new one to put in play, uh, ending after the start of your next turn. And it's called the portal. 
Come on. Okay, there we go. And the dungeon cards. And the one that is showing is called Backstage. Um, okay. Oh, this is neat. A little Munchkin uh, notebook. Munchkin Shakespeare notebook, to be exact. And another kilometer. So now I can have up to three people playing and, and have kilometers at the same time. So that's what one side looks like. That's what the other side looks like. And this is awesome because um, if all if, if you don't know already, I collect coins, um, like collector coins, not like golden eagles or anything like that. But I like going places and getting coins, challenge coins, basically. And this is my Munchkin Shakespeare, SteveJacksonGames.com challenge coin. And that's the obverse or the reverse. I don't know which side is the front, which is the back. Munchkin Shakespeare and munchkins.sjgames.com. Very cool. And it's metal. It's not cheap. Okay. Just enough room to take out the pack, four pack of cards that's in there. All you see is a tail and then occasionally a dog. All right, so the first one is a door and it says, to thine own self be true. Play when you are in combat alone. If you kill the monsters, go up an, a, an extra level, which may be the winning level. If you decide to ask for help, lose a level immediately. Um, so I'm just gonna show you the cards. I'm not gonna read them all out unless you guys request it. This one is called, Never Did Run Smooth. <laughs> And uh, let's see, these are treasures. So what a piece of work is you? And plus two bonus, Prospero's Magic Book. <laughs> Yay. All kinds of fun stuff. We'll just slide those back in there so I can see that they're in there. All right, what's next? All right, I showed you the coloring book. The pawns, yay. I like miniatures, I collect miniatures as well. So coins, patches, miniatures, pins, I collect pins. I'm sure you've seen those in, in other, uh, whoops, things that I've done. Okay, so these are little females carrying a skull and a quill. They're all the same, just different colors. Okay, here are the uh, spike -a spear pawns. Let me open these up. Try to, man, Steve, you guys really package these well. No one, no one shall steal the pawns in a game store because these are so well packaged it would be very difficult not to be caught stealing these. So that's awesome. All right. I wish it would focus on them, but it's focusing on me. Just have to cover up my face. And of course they're all the same, but just different colors. We've got the stage demo. I'm not gonna open that yet because I'm going to open that when I actually decide to use it. The drama dice, I mean, there's really not that big of a deal. You get four cards. All right, fine, I'll show you the cards. Okay, come on. I love getting extra dice. Ooh, I love dice. And of course, I collect um, uh, special dice like from conventions and that kind of thing. All right, the four cards that are in here, shrink wrapped. I know, I know, I get really excited about these things. All right, so the door cards are tell a hawk from a handsaw. 
Level one, ill roasted egg monster. Uh, let's see. Here's a treasure. Plus one to plus six bonus, Darling Buds of May. Roll one drama dice and give that number as a combat bonus to either side. If you do roll a six, discard this card after combat. So you get to keep this unless you roll a six. And then you break all of your uh, roses. Okay. Oh my, Ducats. Yep, cool. All right, so really that's, uh, that's the extent of everything that was in this, um, in this box of mine. I'm very happy. I'm going to try to convince my wife to play with me, play the game with me tonight when she gets home from work. And uh, hopefully I will have a good review for you of the game, and I'll, uh, I'll show you some of the cards if, uh, if possible as well. So thanks for watching. Never stop rolling the dice. That's my usual tagline. And since this is game related, I'm going to say it. So this has been John Kadolf, one half of Two Kept Men. Never stop rolling the dice.